What is up guys, how's it going? It is 4 a.m. It's time to uh I'm gonna check out the uh Twitter page. Jarvan. Jarvan IV. Let's get it. For my father, the king. Stand with me, brother. A six men at five three. That's a pretty crazy stat line. That's like a follower stat line. With barrier, when you attack, pay my cost to summon me, challenging the strongest enemy. Allies have survived four plus strikes from enemy blockers. Huh. It's really interesting. Sisters. Forward! That's crazy that you can just like summon him out of the deck like that. That's huge tempo. Nice. Round star creative fleeting cataclysm in hand. When I challenge an enemy, give me a barrier this round. It's like a pseudo Shen for himself. He's a selfless Shen. Such providence to be blessed with a son so no King Jarvan the third. When I'm summoned, draw Draven Ivy. If he's already in play instead, give allies challenger and scout this round. Whoa. No, I am only what you made me, father. With me, knights of Demacia, for our king! To the flag! flag. Wait, what was Cataclysm do? To the flag! With me, knights of Demacia! And I... An ally starts a free attack challenging an enemy. It just creates it creates a um it creates like a weird scout mechanic. To the flag. Yeah, you're pretty much just granting the unit scout. But like, not really, because you can technically... You would technically be able to do that. So you'd be able to attack three times, essentially. The only difference between that card and like, cards like single combat is that you essentially get any attack effects from a unit, so that's really cool. Javin's kind of interesting, right? That was Damasian Champion, correct? Let's go ahead and go through the cards here. So Jarvan himself um, does seem very interesting. He's a uh, his ability to be summoned from the deck. I think that's um, a lot of crazy tempo, right? Absolutely crazy tempo. So when you attack, pay my cost to summon me, challenging the strongest enemy. Like, does it come up with a choice? That's what I'm wondering. Like, do you, are you forced into are you forced into summoning Jarvan from the deck? Or does it pop up? So like eventually your opponent's gonna know like how to play around Jarvan, right? Because uh, if let's say Jarvan is automatically summoned from the deck with their remaining, if you have enough mana, then they'll expect it to happen. So then allies have to survive four plus strikes from any blockers. Flipping Jarvan's an interesting one though. The only way you flip Jarvan is by like challenging. Yeah, pretty much challenging. Or like, they are blocking your units. So it's kind of like an aggro card, right? Like, they have to block your units sometimes, but if they do, there's a chance you'll flip Jarvan. Jarvan's flip condition will start to grant you fleeting cataclysms. Cataclysms just cause you to start uh, destroying stuff. Yeah, he's got a pretty good kit. Um, I think he's a very good Demacian card. 
it potentially could like replace like Fiora in some list or be like a more late game uh, mid-range threat seems fitting Jarvan's and Cataclysm is also a signature spell so the Cataclysm he creates in hand is also a main deckable card so King Jarvan the third 7 mana 3 6 so it only makes sense if you have Jarvan in play because playing 7 mana to play a 3 6 to draw Jarvan seems very bad so yeah this card seems okay maybe you play one of it in your Jarvan deck if you're completely focused on it and then you also want to have a wide enough board for challenger and scout on this turn to make sense we also have the gallant rider the first time you challenge an enemy transforming into a vanguard cavalry so that's the five uh five mana five five with a tough so the very first time you challenge and then does he transform back into a gallon rider that's kind of cool is this kind of like a bonus play effect Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. You're pretty much paying four mana for a uh, five five with Challenger and tough. You can compare it most similarly to uh, the Challenger from the selection of Celestials. The Golden Aegis, give an ally barrier this round rally. That's a pretty good card, actually. Golden Aegis makes a lot of sense in a deck where you want to protect units as well. And the cost of Rally doesn't usually matter, so you're pretty much just getting bonus value from this. I see this being somewhat actually playable. And probably will see play. The Honored Lord. 2 mana, 3 to The first time I challenge an enemy, give me barrier this round. Okay, that's a very good card. So when they when they when we read the keyword or the wording for the first time, I think it's the very first time, not like the first time each turn. It would say that right. So Ordered Lord is still very good. Because the you know card was very good. The three two that required a dragon synergy. This is strictly just better. I think usually the one challenge is the most relevant because the the I've forgotten the name of it, but the I think the Dragon Guard something, the 3 2 with Challenger tends like ch they're gonna die anyway, so I think granting Barrier on this is actually really crazy. Honored Lord seems very like a very good card, and it's only a common too. And we also have the Battlefield Prowess, uh, 1 mana slow speed spell, grant an ally plus 1 plus 1. Uh, it's a pretty average card. Uh, the Penitent Squire, when I'm summoned, if you behold elite, create a Tattered Banner in hand. Tattered Banner is a 1 mana burst speed spell. The next time you summon an ally this round, grant it Challenger. Penitent Squire is pretty good actually. Uh, it could be potentially replacing the... Is the strict... This is strictly a power creep on the 1 mana 2 2 square. Unless you believe that the elite keyword, like the elite tag, is that valuable. I think this is straight up power creeping. Wow. But, like, at the same time, I'm going to say actually, maybe not. Not directly, because I mean, you have to have elites to get the tatted banner, so it does force some deck building restrictions. But yeah, you're literally just paying 1 mana 2 2 for gaining a card, too. That's actually kind of crazy. Anyway, I think Jarvan potentially. Look, I think Jarvan looks okay. I'm not too sure how he's going to work and how valuable it's going to be ripping him from the deck every turn. But I suspect he's actually going to be a very strong champion and I think can create some really cool new Demacian decks. Maybe granting like some sort of Demacian Noxus kind of splash to try and start gaining some of that overwhelm 
It's going to make a lot of sense with cards like Cataclysm. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.